Okay, so I'm going to be making a blacklist and unblacklist command in Discord.js version 12 today. I'll be explaining to you what I do. So first, we need to make a folder called blacklist.js inside of your command handler. Now, what I'm going to do is go to my exports config file and copy this. This will just make it easier for me. You don't have to have this, but who knows? If you want it, you can have it. You can, it's a lot easier this way. Who are we going to name the file? I mean, what we're going to name this is blacklist. That's what it's called. And a lie is going to be BL. Category is owner. Because, like, you know, you only want the owner to blacklist people from your bot. And this is how you use it. In blacklist, person like that. And then you can, it blacks list somebody it will block with some ice cream bot now what we need to do first is define user like this const user equals message dot mentions dot users are first this will make it so that the first person we mention is the person that gets blacklisted. Now this is what we need to do if nobody is mentioned. All right. Now doing this part right here will make it so that if nobody is mentioned, it'll tell us to mention somebody. Now, what we need to do next is um call the blacklist variable, which we have not defined yet. Like this, what? Blacklist. What blacklist it is? Await to be that fetch a uh, blacklist underscore user dot id. This will make it so that it fetches the current condition of the user whether they are blacklisted or not. Now we gotta start if blacklist. Rules. Not. This will in return blacklist them. It's just they weren't blacklisted before. Like this. TV dot set. Blacklist. Underscore. User dot ID. Blacklisted. Now let's make an embed, send us to the channel that we ran the command in. We're gonna set the description of the embed like, like this. We're gonna set the description of the embed like this. Right? And we're going to do this. Doing message.channel.send will in return send this embed to the channel that we ran the command in. Now, here's for part two that if they are blacklisted, they will get unblacklisted. We're going to do an else if statement. And now we can basically just copy this part right here. Because we're going to be changing it.
we can set this to not so that it sets them as not blacklisted anymore. And the user has been unblacklisted. Yeah. And now for the last part. Yes, there is two more parts of this. But for the last part in this file, we're going to have to do this one more time because the first time, user data is not stored. So we're going to put this as them being blacklisted. Set up data for user. And this will make them blacklisted as well. Now, the next thing we need to do is go into our, our main file command handler, which most of you guys probably have. And we need to call the blacklist variable like this. Let blacklist go away db dot fetch blacklist underscore message dot author dot id and this will check if the user I mean not the user but if the author of the message or the person who's running the command is blacklisted. Now this is what we need to do next for the last part. If blacklist equals blacklisted, it'll in return must stop reply. You are blacklisted from the bot. And this message right here is changeable. You can change it to whatever you want. Not on a command handler. But right here. This is dot dot ID is not equal to R ID. It'll just return and say you do not have permission to use this command. My else account. Alright, we're gonna do a VL at E, which is the name of my alt account. A start. And he is blacklisted. Hey,